You know, the real problem I have with Guardian games, and I mean not just Guardian games, this applies to all Destiny 2 events, and I don't mean for this to sound like some kind of rant video, even though it kinda is, but the real problem I have with these events isn't that they're too repetitive, which I'll talk more about in a bit, but it's that they are too dry and stale. It's like going to a restaurant you love a lot, buying the same food over and over every single day, and then you just get to the point where you're just sick of it, or you no longer bother, or you just bother less and less the more you have that same food. The same sort of thing applies to these events, except it shouldn't. These events happen once per year, it's not like we play them every single day all year round, but the point I'm trying to get at is that they are just too much of the same thing and too predictable, exactly like the seasonal model has been the past few years. The problem isn't that these events are too repetitive in the sense that you do the same thing every year, that's not really the issue, at least for me anyway, although sure, that could be improved, but there are basically three things that bother me the most and I want to talk about them. The first are the cosmetics, aka the event card. The second are the rewards, although don't get me wrong, adding mementos is a good start. And the last is the event itself and the lack of purpose it has, or should I say, hasn't got anymore. Festival of the Lost is a pretty clear example of that by the way. We don't have that variety of getting to choose whether we want the haunted sectors or the classic haunted forest, so to me it just feels pointless. Now I want to start with the cosmetics and event card because this is one thing that irritates me the most. You got an event for 3 weeks in Destiny 2, for our case right now it's Guardian Games. We have an event card that we can buy for 1000 silver, that's like $10, and if you buy that event card you get cosmetics whether that's a few emotes, ships, sparrows and ghosts as well as shaders. But the majority of these rewards are locked behind event tickets on top of that initial paywall of $10. Which is fair, you play the game and you get those cosmetic rewards, that's fine. Except it's not fine because you have to pay to begin with. Events are about cosmetics, about celebrating, having fun and just getting together as a community for those 3 weeks. That purpose is gone because we have no reward value. These cosmetics are locked behind a paywall and they just shouldn't be. We already pay for the season pass and annual pass, so in my opinion it should be free and include included with the season pass. I'm going to take you guys back to that restaurant real quick. You buy a burger, and then you buy a drink. You got yourself a meal deal. Buy it as a meal. You go to Destiny 2, you buy the annual pass or the season pass, and then you buy the event pass, but you also buy more cosmetics in the Eververse store related to that said event. So where's the meal deal? Because to me, it looks like we're getting ripped off. Now Bungie, if you're listening, here's what I'll do. Make Guardian Games be part of the season pass. If you bought the season pass, you get access to additional rewards, that being the event card. If you didn't, then well, don't play. But seriously, events should not feel like a pay to look good money grabbing BS. It should be about guardians getting together, earning those rewards including event cosmetics and just enjoying yourself. Heck, I remember back in the first few years of events, we could get event cosmetics in the Eververse store for free with Bright Ingrams. And you know what was even better? You got two Bright Ingrams every time you got that fourth level, and now you get nothing, unless you pay. Don't get me wrong, I don't mind grinding for the Guardian Game seal, I don't mind doing those event challenges, but for the rewards, as someone who doesn't want to spend $10 on the event card, a few poxy enhancement cores ain't gonna do it for me. It's pointless, I have thousands, I don't need that crap. What would be nice is if we instead got some event cosmetics that's not limited to just emotes and ghost shells, but exotic ornaments as well. Sure, if you want to have the option to pay up front $10 to unlock everything without doing the event challenges, then by all means throw your money at Bungie, but the point is the rewards are pointless. Grinding the event cards for a few materials ain't interesting to me. Getting those free weapons from Grandma at the Tower ain't interesting to me. Sure, maybe, just maybe I might go grab some god rules, but the rewards are lacking. Yes, you can say well done to Bungie for adding mementos to events, that is one feature I really do like. They feel somewhat rare enough, but not too rare to the point that it's annoying me. It just sucks that they're not stackable, but they are unique, and they add value because of its rarity. You can only get them during the event, and in my opinion, mementos are a decent reward worth grinding for. Now if you can add a bunch of cosmetics to that list, that would be great. I'd happily go out and bank 200 gold medallions to get myself an event emote, give us that option to be able to buy certain cosmetic rewards by completing certain quests, bounties and banking medallions for event tickets, to then spend. We could buy the cosmetics, buy the weapons or mementos, or even buy materials or bright dust. I think it'd be great. It's kind of like completing seasonal challenges for bright dust, bright dust being the points that you get, to then spend in the Eververse store. On the other hand, events in general, they just suck. 
and they suck hard. The only event that I feel is worth playing the most is Solstice. Luckily, that's the next event. But for me, I feel like events just don't really have a purpose anymore. They're too stale, like the seasonal model. We've had the same thing year after year with minimal to no changes at all in terms of doing a seal, the event challenges, and the activities we get. For me, I'd like to see a variety of different things to give you more choice of what you want to do. Like, for example, for Festival of the Lost, you'd be able to choose if you wanted to do Haunted Sectors or the Haunted Forest, but not even just that. Events, much like the seasonal model, has just become too predictable. I already knew before the event even started, that we were most likely going to do the Nightfall stuff, Supremacy, bank a load of medallions and get some weapons. It's the same thing every year, just a few added rewards and minimal changes to suit the latest expansion, so yep, we got skimmers and mementos, but that ain't going to do it for me. I want to see a variety of events, not just for Guardian Games, Solstice, Festival of the Lost and the Dawning, but let's have the Revelry back, Crimson Days, SRL, yeah. Skimmer Racing League, not Sparrows, perhaps even other events like an anniversary event, or just some kind of basic thing, like a double progression weekend. Catalyst, weapon patterns, etc. They all count for twice as much. The game and events itself have been on this constant stale loop ever since Shadowkeep, and if no changes are made soon, I don't think people are going to bother playing the events much. And not only that, the game in general. And the sad truth about this is the player count already shows those numbers decreasing every season that goes by, and the way Destiny is right now, I don't think it will survive another year despite having a seasonal model change to now being episodes. I don't think that's going to cut it unless there are some real changes. You know what's actually funny though? Remember back in September last year we had the bug and people called it the craftening? It was basically an unintentional event that broke weapon crafting, so you could apply basically any rules or perks onto any weapons. You could have shotgun frames on auto rifles, use exotic traits from things like Dead Messenger, and it was just so insane that it actually got more people playing during that one broken weekend than the launch day of the season itself. It was wild, and it just goes to show the small little things like this that cause so much fun and chaos in the game is actually what people want. You don't need to bring new content to the game to make the game fun, just use content you already have. You know, it would be awesome to have that crafting and bug back for another weekend, turn it into an event, break the game, who cares, just have fun. Maybe turn off seals temporarily so people can't cheese the crap out of everything because your auto rifle instantly kills everything and you enter god mode, but still, it was so fun and the player count being higher than the day one season launch just shows that this is the kind of stuff people like and enjoy the most and are willing to log on for. There have been a lot of things in the game over the past 10 years of Destiny. There still is a lot of great content in the game and a lot of vaulted or sunset content as well. The old raids were fun, maybe even turn that into an event. If you ain't gonna bring back all the old raids then bring them back for an event. Anything other than playing the same crap and completing the same seals year after year is better than no change at all. I mean at least Bungie are willing to make the change from going to seasons to episodes. Things only ever last so long before you start to get bored and fed up with it. Is there actually a game that you guys could play over and over non-stop forever, but that game doesn't have any new content and it's the same stuff all the time? Live service game by the way. Because Destiny being an MMO looter shooter game, it's events sure don't feel like it. Anyway guys, give me your thoughts down below on what you'd rather see with events in Destiny 2. What kind of changes do you want or are you happy with events the way they are right now? But guys, I've been Divide. Thank you for tuning in and hearing me rant and until next time, peace.